So Nintendo released the 11.3 firmware update for the 3DS, effectively killing Homebrew, for the time being at least. Uh, so if you guys have already been upgraded to 11.3, you're out of luck for now until someone uh, finds a way around it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and look at how if you've already done the homebrew and custom firmware like we did in my last video, I'll put the link to it up here. And um, I just want to look at how you can go ahead and recover from an upgrade to 11.3 in the event that it does happen to you uh, like I did accidentally and had to recover from. <laughs> Alright guys, so you're going to want to start off making sure that your 3DS is powered off and hold that start button and press the power on button. And then I'll lose you into Hourglass 9. And I'll only do the backup portion if you're currently on 11.2 if you've already been upgraded to 11.3 obviously we don't want to back this up right now um, you can go ahead and skip to the restore step assuming 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 that you have a valid 11.2 sysnand backup so once you're in hourglass 9 you want to go to sysnand backup and restore the first option there and I'm not sure this is focusing very well that's probably about as good as it's going to get so go ahead and press A there then we're going to go ahead and do a sysnand backup and we're going to go ahead and name it nandmin.bin, the default name here. And let's go ahead and dump nandmin.bin uh, to the files9 directory on your SD card. Um, so I recommend go ahead and doing this after you've got uh, your homebrew and custom firmware all set up, all your apps are loaded and everything's the way you want it set up. Go ahead and do this backup so that way if you accidentally get upgraded to 11.3 um, you can go ahead and restore back to this 11.2 sysnand um, with all your stuff already set up for you. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through this portion of the process. And once your backup's complete you just press start to reboot. You'll just boot back into your 3DS, and now your 11.2 sysnand is fully backed up. And then if you ever need to restore from that backup, hold down the start button and press power, just like we did before, and that'll boot you straight into Hourglass 9 again. And then from here you'll go ahead and go to sysnand, backup and restore again. Now we'll do the sysnand restore keep A9LH. And put in the key combination, press A. And then we're going to restore from nandmin.bin. Again, we just want to let that process roll. I'll go ahead and fast forward through this for you guys again. And so once it boots in, you'll see that all your applications are still exactly where they should be. And you're good to go. You're back on 11.2 with everything still installed. So guys, go ahead and hit that uh, like button if you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And uh, until next time, it's Johnny O signing off. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button if you liked the video. Uh, hit that subscribe button and get subscribed to the channel so you can keep up to date on all my latest videos. Uh, if you want to see more of the behind, the behind the scenes kind of stuff and get more up to date notifications than YouTube apparently provides, you can follow me on Twitter at TitoTechTube. And until next time, it's Johnny O signing off.